Hey there, ho there! Not only is it Tuesday news day, but it is also Wizard 101's birthday! Well, birth month at least. The actual birthday has already passed. And there's so much stuff in the crown shop. Let's check it out. Oh yes, crown's reward event too. Let's check that out and hope it don't crash my screen. So first let's check out what's in here because it is definitely woohoo! We got those birthday candle staffs. We got the wishing staff. By the way, these are all 100 crowns. No gold, sorry. Celebration staff, birthday staff, candle staff. They're all pretty and I think they're all the exact same size. They're like a full body one. They're not the tiny ones. It's a staff. Decaversary Horde Pack. Oh yes. Has the Vortex Mounts, Decade Dragon, and the really cool commemoration outfits. I wish they showed you more of them. All they show is the hat. And then they brought back the 15th birthday banner. Okay, maybe they just haven't shown us what, uh, you know, is out just yet for this year. A crystal dragon. That one's 5,000 crowns. Has a lower path spell element upgraded scorpion. And let's see, it can learn Hydra Train, Balance Hunter, Balance It. And that's just some of the possible talents. Then they got the 15th birthday standard. I wish it actually said 15 on it. Just saying, maybe people would buy it more if it had a number. I know that's why I ran and grabbed the beautiful sail pattern for your pirate in Pirate 101, because it has a big old 10 on it. And of course, the book mounts are back. These are only available whichever ones you, I guess you would say qualify for. It's easy to tell which one's which, now that I know, because the book mobile says Wizard 101 on it. The Story Lori, if I get that turn around, actually says Wizard 102 on it. And the Roaming Tome says Wizard 103 on it. A year or less, you can purchase the Bookmobile mount. I believe it's five years or less, you can purchase the Story Lori or the Bookmobile mount. Well, and. And 10 years plus, the Roaming Tome, Story Lori, and Bookmobile are available for you to purchase. And they run $37.50, pretty cheap. I'm so happy I own them all now. When they first came out, I was like six months shy of being able to get the roaming tome. I was sad, but I grabbed it up the next year. Ravenwood Academy banner and standard. If you don't know the difference, the banner goes in your house as a decoration. The standard is a weapon. It doesn't give you any stats, it's just cosmetic. Origami crane, eighth anniversary a gobbler cake. I love that one. It's an interactive housing item that the gobbler pops out and goes bleh, bleh. Birthday box, that one's so fun. Party corgi. Decade Piggle, Decennial Dragon, Copy Cake. That looks so tasty, not gonna lie. Grandpa Piggle, Birthday Balloons Mount. Hey, how about we zoom out? There you go. I love these because the ones for Wizard 101 and Pirate 101 are totally different. Obviously, the ones for Wizard 101 have all of the school logos on them and the ones for Pirate 101 have all of the class logos on them. Very cool. And the Gobbler Mount. Both the Birthday Balloons and the Gobbler Mount are $37.50 as well as the birthday box. It's pretty much all the birthday mounts are the same price, I think. We'll see what happens with the new one <clears throat> that may not be uh, listed yet, or it could be in here, the Crown's Reward event, please know. The Red Gobbler Pet, that one's fun. I finally got that one through hatching. That's, yeah, it's pretty expensive. I would try and hatch it with somebody, personally. I mean, it's not like super awesome. It's just hard to get, I guess. Birthday snack pack. It doesn't show you what's in here, but it's like some cute themed birthday snacks. I've probably used up all mine already. And now we get to some items you can actually buy with gold. Yay! Oh, also the eighth anniversary gobbler cake you can get for gold. You can get the party chair, party buffet table, moon standard, star banner, star standard, moon banner, and a party tank, birthday party cake. This one isn't interactive. It just sits there looking amazing. Decade gargoyle, decade fire cat. Hey, where's the decade of... Uh, what is the other one? Dragon? And it looks like the rest of this is the things that were in there before. Well, I don't see anything new as far as the mounts. So let's see what this is all about. Please don't crash the game. We'll give it like just a second. I will be patient. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it is a crowns reward event that gives you stuff as opposed to buying 10 packs, you get a free pack. So Wizard 101 Minotaur housing item for spending 399 crowns. So I don't know, if you buy a pack, you get a Minotaur statue. You get a regular snack pack for spending 1500 crowns so far kind of ouch you get a hatching elixir for spending 4000 crowns Ooh, birthday snack pack for spending 9000 crowns please don't tell me the mount is in here Ay. energy elixir for 15000 crowns perot's potion for 20000 crowns wow uh oh this is kind of a no so far look mulinda's green thumb pack for 25000 
crowns. Uh, Minotaur Labrys, which is the weapon from the Scroll of Fortune, of which myth was the theme. 30,000 crowns. Oh, and the rest of the gear for 35,000, 40,000. Uh, the teleport for 45,000. The robe for 50. You're crazy. I'm sorry. Wow. 55,000, you get the emote. 60,000, you get the Mino Mobile. <sighs> And if you want that additional character elixir, you're going to have to spend 65,000 crowns. But no matter what, if you want the max amount of additional characters that you could possibly get, purchase the one in the crown shop first. Because if you ever earn one of these, you can no longer purchase the one in the crown shop for cheaper. Alex Ryder subscribed to the channel. Okay. All right. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, that's a uh, wow. I'm not going to spend 65. 5,000 for a bunch of junk and an additional character slot. I'm sorry. That's way, 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 way too much. Way too much. A mythical birthday. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's something. It's not something for me, though, sadly. I mean, I only have, like, 11,000 crowns. Anyhow. Yeah, sadly, you can't see what's in the birthday snack pack. And Mulinda's green thumb pack gives seven garden treasure cards. That's what's even crazier about that even showing up in here. I had 625 crowds. That's oof. Oof. That's a bit crazy too. I don't know. This one's a bit uh, oof for me. But hey, that's just me. Maybe somebody really uh, has way too many crowns on their hand and then wants to gift a bunch of stuff. So they might as well get all that stuff for free. All right. Now for the events. The Fall Scroll of Fortune currently has 88 days on it. And the events that are already ended, the Spiral Scene and the Summer Scroll of Fortune. You still have time to redeem anything you earn, but you better be quick. The Perilous Voyage, however, I guess because they already like reset it after the first day, they gave us an additional day, which is really, really good because I've only been doing the gauntlet for I think two days now from being sick. And it's really, really easy to get a billion points in it. It's super duper easy, especially since you get 25 points for each boss you defeat. Just saying. However, today has restarted the events and now we have Beast Moon Hunt and Rate My Stitch. What's the theme for Rate My Stitch Storm themed outfits? Okay. I mean, it's not October, so, you know, can't have everything that we want. I still think we should have a costume contest dressing up as something else, like doing your best. You could call it cosplay if you want, but I think that should be October's theme. What do you think? Would it be too on the nose if I just, you know, put on my new favorite outfit, which is very, very stormy. All right, let's teleport to event. All right, look at all the people over here. Well, let's see what we have in the crafting section because that is where, oh, sorry. It said Electro Saber and I was like, yes. I wish it was a different design, but it is very beautiful. Oh, look at that. I probably crafted anyway, you know me. What is the outfit, however? Okay, stormy cap, stormy coat, and stormy boots. I don't know, they're just not me. I've never really liked this style. I don't know, it doesn't seem realistic, but I think, would I like to wear that? And if the answer is no, I don't put it on my wizard. <laughs> is that weird or what? And then we have the same housing items, the rate my stitch themes and wooden skeleton key. And we do not have any new poses, which are technically emotes or red carpet teleport is the only one still. I will get it eventually. I mean, I have enough stuff. I just don't have the uh, qualifications. That would be special event badges. And you have to have 2000 stitches rated. Come on, slacker, get it done. Make it work. So let's go to rate my stitch and add an outfit. Let's see, we got any stormy stuff? We got zappy hands, of course. But is that too on the nose? I do like the arabesque because, you know, you're floating around. It's very cute. And I'm going to stick with the original because it is classic storm. I mean, we got the Stormzilla port, but look at that thing. Oh, Lord, no. Too big. Too big. That's just me, though. Dust in the wind. And yes, I'm going to include my pet. Thank you very much. Add an outfit. There we go. You can also add an outfit for the non-themed rating. All right, let's go rate outfits. You get credit for rating 10 event themed outfits and five overall outfits. But for your badge, you can get credit for 20. So I usually do 10 of the themed ones and 10 of the overalls. 
but that's just because I really want that teleport. And I like the reminder up here when rating this outfit, consider how well it matches the event's storm themed outfits. I do wish the theme itself was a little bit bigger or underlined or whatever. So it's like, even though this is a nice outfit, I don't really know if it's that stormy. So whatever you rate it, go ahead and click the star. And then over here, rate another stitch. I know it wasn't 10. Hey, if you were over in the overall outfits, I would have given you a 10. Very nice, very nice. You know I like the sparkles. And all of these events, of course, the points you earn in them go towards your current scroll of fortune. I do believe you have to have around 40 votes at a minimum average of six stars to earn the judge's choice. And if you don't remember how many you've rated, open up your chat box and it'll tell you this one. I've got eight out of 10 that I need for the theme. Very nice. I love the taco hat. No joke. Okay, so there's my 10. So actually I'm gonna click back. Sorry to that person. Now I'm gonna rate an outfit and overall. Whee! All right, this is our last one. I mean, we already got the points for the event, but I like to go five more just to get my badge credit. Okay, now we only need to press that close button in the corner. Because if you click next, it'll take you to the next one. And over here, it shows you the previous winners. Obviously you can interact with it. I like that it shows you in the outfits. That's like my favorite part. Oh, this is new as far as I know. Look at that, you can take things off. Although the pet isn't on here anyway. Anybody got a pet? No, I don't see anybody with a pet. But say I want to take the wands off. That's kind of, oh, but you have to do it per outfit. So like, oh, I don't like the hat. I don't like the robe. So that's kind of cool. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, you can do the entire outfit on off if you want. That's kind of neat. I like that they did that. And then they tell you over here what those are. So maybe like if I have my pet, which I don't know why it's not showing, it would turn it off so I could see just how I look with that. That's kind of cool. All right, going back over here to, I almost said Majid, this one's Maxwell. Go to rate my stitch if you want to see how your outfit is doing on the ratings click on my outfits and right now i only have a 10 ratings on there Ooh, they don't like that i use the whole outfit from the theme yeah if you go here you will not know if you got judge's choice or not you have to go over here to maxwell go to rate my stitch go to my outfits and if you get the judge's choice which is i believe it's like 40 ratings at six or above it'll be a button right over here but if you wait until the event ends all of this is gone because your outfit is no longer being rated. So make sure you check it often. All right, Majid, what you got? Are you updated? No, you're not because the Battle Badger is still unavailable because I purchased it last month. Maybe they'll reset it tomorrow. Now let's check out the Beast Moon Hunt. This is the PVP version, but it is also the version that gives you a gold idol to unlock a form permanently on the progress bar. So how you get points for this is winning a match, unlimited amount, capturing a battle ring. You can get credit for 30 per day. Defeating opponents in a battle ring is unlimited amount. Leveling up any beast form. You can get credit for five of those per day and harvesting a plant. You can get credit for 10 of those per day. What are the rewards? Beast moon seeds, Eldritch thread. They'll never fix this. You get some hasty harvest three treasure cards, two beast moon needles. The pet is Dykenthrope. That is hilarious. I love it. Oh my gosh. And it gives you threefold fever, which is the negative healing charm to the next three spells. Ouch for a healer. And you can possibly get no pain, no gain, which is dark pact, spiritual retriever. Once you unlock it, it's activated by wooden chests and your pet goes and gets spell elements out of the wooden chests for myth, life or death and then death shot. But these are just some possible talents it can have. So that tells me this is gonna be the death wolf gold idol. Let's see, we got four more beast moon needles. We got some Lunari and looky there, wolf gold idol for the death. And then 570 points will give you elemental spell elements. Don't know how many, cause they don't tell us. Let's see what kind of cool stuff that death wolf has. And do I already have it unlocked? I do actually, it must've been a previous scroll of fortune. Oh, there goes those 10 special event points going crazy. All that's for is that I have a lot of them already upgraded. So it just gives you credit for those on the first day and see without even doing anything, I've already got those five credit for day. So it's a free 50 points. Both the beast moon hunt and rate my stitch run from the third until the 9th of September, 2024. And the perilous voyage, it doesn't have hours listed. So you still have plenty of time to get a gajillion points. Oh, and by the way, and this is that beautiful anniversary statue in the house. I know it looks weird in the grass, but I like it there. 
Ooh, right now members get double XP and rewards for gardening. Well, that seems to be about it so far for Wizard 101's birthday celebration. I think they're still getting their bearings coming back from PAX West. There's a whole lot of stuff to unpack, literally and figuratively, you know, they want reports and meetings and all of that good stuff. So I'm sure they'll update Majid, they'll put more things into the crown shop, they'll show us new stuff for this year, maybe got some events going on. And thanks so much everybody for your support, likes, subs, shares, questions, comments, suggestions, absolutely everything. I love hanging out with you and we will see y'all real soon. Bye-bye.